Hey, have you ever been in a situation where you feel as if a friendship has just been difficult to handle lately? Perhaps one of them is doing something you're personally a bit uncomfortable with, or they just simply open up with you all the time. Figuring out how to handle this can sometimes be tough, so I'm here to tell you three strategies to set boundaries with a friend. Let's get into these rather positive methods so that you can have a healthy friendship with someone you can truly enjoy spending your time with. Alright, so the first method you could use to set up a boundary is to, well, avoid blaming one another. What this means is to avoid setting up something that seems like it's someone's fault. When it comes to setting up a rule or wall for you and a friend to follow, it can admittedly be pretty hard to follow said rule. This is because there's nothing to really hold it up. There's no foundation for the wall to hold onto, also known as something to help enforce this boundary. Because of that, it can be pretty easy to cross over it and cause a psychologically stressful situation to occur. This could vary, whether it's allowing them to always open up to you, performing an action, or giving them an emotional reaction. Because of that, it's always important to make sure that when setting up something to follow, there's not much blame put on anyone. Putting blame on one another doesn't really go too far. So, by acknowledging that both of you have your own values can mean a lot. You can also acknowledge any faults you may have made without mentally hurting yourself along the way. So, that can be easier for you and your friend to understand a given situation. The next step you can use to really start setting boundaries is something pretty important, and that's to give space between yourself and your friend. Whenever you're in a situation where it feels as if something is getting uncomfortable, it's always best to ask for space. Of course, this depends on the given situation, but just asking for time and space can be vitally important because it can prevent emotions from taking over your actions. Say that you're in a circumstance where a friend wants you to do something, but doesn't really want to do much in return. You can take a step back and think this through, seeing that by allowing your emotions to take over and do it in guilt because they really want you to do it, it could build an unhealthy pattern of boundaries where they're just being ignored entirely. Taking action first instead of letting your emotions control your actions is what can truly help with setting a boundary that will actually stick together without having to blame one another. My final strategy you could use to really help build a boundary for your emotional control is to simply agree upon a healthy conclusion. Setting up a boundary can be a pretty hard thing to do, especially considering how there's usually nothing to truly enforce this said boundary. That being said, acknowledging this and learning how to think through situations rationally really does mean a lot. By safely telling them the boundary you want to set up, it can truly mean a lot with keeping a lovely friendship. Say you're in a situation where a friend wants to continuously open up to you over and over, meaning you don't really get much time to open up yourself. Although, whenever you try to set up a bit of a strict boundary, they step over it by placing guilt and emotion before thinking through it a bit more carefully. A way you could approach this is to tell them that while you appreciate them opening up because they feel better from it, you also need some of your own time to open up yourself because it can sometimes just get a bit stressful. Afterwards, anytime a situation occurs where one needs time to process something before emotions take over, simply asking for you or them to think through it can really help with more smart decisions to be made. There can be certain times in a friendship or relationship where you think a boundary needs to be set because situations can get stressful or emotionally controlling. Setting up a boundary, however, isn't as simple as following a strict rule and sticking to it, since there isn't always anything to hold us up. Although, avoiding blame on one another and giving time and space to think through a situation can truly mean a lot. Seeing that a lack of blame can make it more understandable, and additional time can prevent situations from escalating and allowing emotions to take over actions. I hope you found this video helpful in realizing how to truly set up a boundary that you and your close friends can stick to. If you did, I inspire you to like the video and subscribe so that we know that you enjoyed this fun ride. You can also leave a comment, perhaps describing what boundaries you want to set up with a friend of yours. We also have this video right here, describing the 4 helpful tips for tackling anxiety. Stay safe, okay? Love you all. Thanks to Stick Stick Sticks for inspiring this video. <laughs> nice name.